Hey, this is Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. Obviously, at our company, we're very passionate about saving energy and making homes more comfortable. That's what we do, and we believe so much in it. Today, we're in this attic of this large home, and when we came in here to evaluate how to make this house more energy efficient, the attic is our A priority. We're on our inspection here, and we took our thermal imaging camera, we're in late May, and the roof we can see is 128 degrees, the sheathing. But if I just shoot any objects, because remember, a thermal imaging camera looks at temperatures of the surfaces, not temperature of the air. So if I look at that object there, and I could use my laser pointer here, that two by six in storage here is 110 degrees. So that's the temperature of the attic. If I do a blower door test and depressurize the house, if I have a, an air leak, directly to the attic, the hottest I'd ever see is 115. I mean, if I was, you know, 105 or something, that would be a pretty direct air leak to the attic. Here we have an air handler in the attic, and this is for air conditioning. And this is a major priority as far as leakage and insulation goes. Um, we have holes in the, in the air handler cabinet. We have gaps around the filter slot at every joint in this air handler cabinet. Okay, we have lots of air leakage and that is sucking 115 degree air from this attic into the air handler for it to cool. This is an air leak, you can see right at that spot there, it's 81 degrees. Now that is 35 degrees lower than the temperature in this attic right now. And as you can see, I'm starting to sweat a lot. What do you think would be easier to cool? 78 degree return air or 115 degree attic air? right? I mean, clearly this air conditioner is working much harder than it has to and it can't even get the job done. I mean, if I feel this cabinet, my hand is on a cabinet that is 117 degrees, this cabinet right here. So we're trying to produce 55 degree air to cool the house and running it through a metal cabinet that's 117 degrees. Absolutely ridiculous. If we made a conditioned attic out of this, and we put seven inches of foam, then this would not be radiating heat to all these ducts in this air handler, and the air handler would have a much easier job of cooling this house. So here we are down in a bedroom, uh, right underneath where we were just standing, and if we take a look, what is the temperature of the air coming out of the supply duct? And we can see that it's 70, 70 71 degrees. So, let me understand this. We're trying to get this room to be 73 degrees. That's our target temperature on the, on the thermostat. And we are paying money in electricity to cool the air down to 55 in the air conditioning system. And we're running it through a hot attic. All these ducts are going through a hot attic. And by the time the air comes out of this vent, it is 71 degrees, only two degrees lower than our target temperature. Now you're gonna have to run the air conditioner for a long time to cool this room if the air that you're putting in it was only two degrees cooler than the thermostat set uh, target temperature. So uh, we are adding a lot of heat back to the air that we paid to cool. We're, we're adding a lot of heat to it by the time it gets to the room that we intend to cool. So very energy inefficient. We've got a lot of air leakage out of the house and into the house from having a, a leaky duct system in the attic. Not to mention all the house leaks up through the building assemblies, through top plates, between drywall and framing, through pipe and wire holes around the chimney and duct chases and so forth are all places that make this house leakier and more inefficient than it has to be. So we have a lot of air leakage coming up into this attic and it has caused mold to grow on the bottom of the roof deck. In fact, if we look over here, we have a lot of mold where the duct is disconnected. I mean, that's a big air leak from, guess what room that is? Master bath. And so you take a shower and the steam comes up through that hole and we got a lot of mold over here. And we've got rusting nails and mold all over the roof deck everywhere. So we've got a lot of air leakage up here and we can see a lot of duct leakage. So uh, this is a classic problem. And what we would do in this attic uh, is, first I'd try to make a conditioned attic out of it. If I could use open cell spray foam and make a conditioned attic, I'm, I'm gonna be in great shape. Okay, we're gonna do another experiment about ducts in the attic. And we have here a, a duct that's sitting in the attic. And then we turn the air conditioner off for 
uh, about 15 minutes to let the ducks acclimate with the temperature in the attic. And we look at this uh, grill and we can see the hottest Spartan spot on this grill is about 93 degrees. Now I'm gonna turn the air conditioning on, stay right there. I'm just going right over here. I'm gonna flip on the cooling. Now let's see what happens here. So we're trying to cool this room down to 73 and we've got 95 degree air coming out of the duct at the beginning of the cooling cycle. And this is because the duct is sitting in the hot attic and it's heating up, absorbing all that heat from the attic. This attic is 115 degrees right now and it's blowing that hot air out of that duct. And as the cool air from the air handler goes into the duct, it starts to fight that heat and it starts to cool that duct. After blowing that 95 degree air out, now it's starting to go down a little bit. We're still at 89 degrees and the cooling's been on for, how long have I been talking here? A minute and a half. And still the air coming out of that duct is much hotter than we want our room to be. This air conditioner is gonna have to run a lot longer because those ducks are sitting in a hot attic. So now we have 83, 82 degree air, and it's just taking forever. So I think you've got the, the idea here that when we put ducks in an attic, it is a hostile environment for those ducks, and you're gonna have trouble cooling your house. Your air conditioner will have to run a lot more, and you'll be wasting electricity and having more uncomfortable house. In fact, there may be rooms that the air has to run through more duct to get to that room that may never cool at all until the sun goes down. The air handler is right above us and the shortest duct, the shortest supply duct is to this room. And if we look at the temperature of that air, it is 73 degrees, 72 degrees right now. And we look at the temperature of the air coming out of this duct and it's 77 degrees. So that just tells you right there that the duct is adding heat. The duct sitting in a 115 degree attic is adding heat to that air that you just paid to cool. The longer the duct is that the air flows through, the warmer the air is coming out into the room. Now, let me ask you this question. If you wanted to cool this room to 73 degrees, can you ever do it with 78 degree air coming into it? No way. This air conditioner will run forever and you'll complain that your room doesn't cool and you're uncomfortable sticking to the sheets till midnight till the sun goes down finally the roof cools finally the ducts cool and then the air conditioning can, can keep up with uh, what you have your thermostat setting at. Dr. Ernest Saver can solve these problems for you. 